my name is Dr. Ismail Abaji. I'm, I'm Gambian. I was born in Gambia, in Banjo, to be specific. Um, my dad hails from Bansang. Uh, my mom hails from Banjo, Aftai. Um, raised in the Gambia, so I did most of my schooling here um, and in the U.S. as well, too. So I was at the younger age in the U.S., came back, uh, went to Mrs. Nose, graduated from Gambia High in 2003, and then left for the States where I did my undergrad studies in chemistry uh, and then my doctor of pharmacy from Purdue. And now I'm back home. Yeah, so Innovrix Global Health is a healthcare solutions company. Um, the name basically just means an innovative prescription. So RX is a universal sign for a prescription. Um, so we like to call it just a, a new way of finding solutions. That's what Innovrix means. And obviously it's a global company because the company was started in the US in 2014 as a consulting company um, with intentions of bringing a US style healthcare facility to the Gambia. Um, obviously, my background is pharmacy, um, so I've worked in community pharmacy for a very long time, so it has a pharmacy component to it, uh, but we try not to label it as a pharmacy, but more as a healthcare solution company, because we're going to be doing a lot of interesting things clinically in terms of managing non-communicable diseases, um, a lot of technology, so leveraging telemedicine, uh, medical tourism, point of care testing, so a lot of different solutions just to kind of help create a healthy healthy com uh, nation. So when we talk about non-communicable diseases, it's basically a disease that you cannot get by standing next to each other. So when we talk to communicable diseases, you think maybe malaria or the flu or tuberculosis. So non-communicable diseases is basically chronic conditions Diseases that basically it takes a while, the progression is long. Once you have the diagnosis, it's not something that you take a dose and it goes away. You have to manage it for the rest of your life. So the key to non-communicable diseases is basically continuity of care. So once you know you have diabetes, then the management process happens for the rest of your life. So NCDs in short, that's basically what it means. Any condition that, one, you can't get it by standing next to each other, it's not communicable, but you have to manage it sometimes for a lifetime and it has complications down the line if you don't manage it. Well, we know what the Gambia health system is. Um, I think we get a bad rep because most of the times everything that's wrong with the health system, we just say, hey, the government is not doing a good job uh, with people's health. We wanted to look at it as like, hey, we want to be part of the solution uh, to work with the government. Um, but most importantly, as Gambians, as Africans, we felt like it was important for us to take all the skills that we have and bring a product that levels the playing field in terms of access. So that way somebody who lives in Birkama, Soma, you know, Jara, Bansang has the same level of access as somebody who lives in Atlanta or London or Sweden. Um, so there's a sense of nationalistic um, I guess ideology to it because we feel like we want to create a product that's for Gambians, by Gambians, but equally effective, equally same level of quality. Um, so it's, the need is definitely there. It's just a matter of Gambians taking charge of our health. We are obviously functioning as a private entity, but we have all intentions of working with the Ministry of Health working with all the local doctors, local clinics, because we built the conglomerate where we have a U.S. team of healthcare professionals. Eventually, we'll establish a Gambian team of healthcare professionals. We have partnerships in India with specialty hospitals. So ideally, one Gambian patient will now have access to like a whole team of healthcare professionals. And definitely the Ministry of Health, all the local hospitals, clinics is something we want to collaborate with because I think we have a unique opportunity to help, especially in the area of managing non-communicable diseases, which we want to focus a lot of our efforts on doing that, because most of the times those are the things that kind of before people know something's wrong is rather too late. Uh, but collaboration is definitely going to be in the DNA of the company. From a population standpoint, the Gambia is unique. Um, so the population is two and a half million people. But also it's a melting pot for almost everybody in West Africa. You could find all the West African countries represented in the Gambia. 
So from a business strategy standpoint, the Gambia made sense as franchise number one to test the product, test our delivery system, improve on most of our designs, and then start branching off to other West African countries. Um, another aspect too is medical tourism, right? So countries like Senegal, a lot of times, even in Gambia, if you need a healthcare service that you can't find in the Gambia, go to Senegal or go to Dakar. I think Gambia is actually positioned to be a hub for medical tourism, because once again, we've always been welcoming. We have a lot of West Africans here in the Gambia, so an institution like this could actually bring people now where if you have diabetes, they tell you, now go to Gambia, because you could get taken care of there. But the plan is definitely to start branching off, so Gambia will just be franchise one, you know, God willing. But next year, we're going to be looking at IGH Gambia, IGH Sierra Leone, IGH Guinea Conakry, because the model is built for it to replicate throughout West Africa. So when we begin, um, we'll be functioning one as a retail pharmacy, right? So when I say retail pharmacy, there's two components to it. There's over-the-counter prescriptions, which will be your cough and cold medications, children's medications, um, feminine hygiene products, men's health products, which will be offered without a prescription. And then we have a prescription in which will be functioning as a typical pharmacy, but more US style, being that our pharmacy will operate under electronic health uh, prescription processing system. So all our patients will have an electronic health record here. We'll introduce new labeling systems where now you leave with your name on a bottle to create more accountability. Um, but the, on the clinical side, we'll be offering um, some disease state management. So medication therapy management is one of the new services that we're offering. And basically what that means is once somebody knows they have diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, what happens next? So as IGH, we have a clinical team designed to help manage those diseases. But that goes along with people who may not have the disease. So we'll be doing a lot of point of care testing, so screening for healthy and people who have diseases. So we'll be doing in-house screenings for diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, liver function tests, kidney function tests. So those are some of the services. Uh, but one of the services I'm really excited about is our delivery system. So we'll be rolling out our Wellness on Wheels, WOW program, where now every service that we offer in-house, we could go anywhere in the Gambia and offer it. So we'll be delivering from Banjo to Base. We'll be offering screenings from Banjo to Base, all from this operation. So we'll have motor vehicles and a whole intricate system just to expand it. Um, we'll be, we're rolling out a mobile application. So basically every product or service that we have in-house, it's as easy as you using our mobile application to request it anywhere in the Gambia, right? And then you make a determination whether you want to come to us to get the service or you want us to come to you. Uh, we built it that way to kind of bring in the diaspora as well too, because we know a lot of Gambians have support from the diaspora. So the model was actually built where now, even if you can afford the services in-house, a loved one, mom, daughter, sister could be outside the Gambia and be sponsoring your healthcare through us because now they know what they're paying for. Uh, so it's very all-inclusive in that aspect. So even part of our, because right now we're going through our HR phase where we're onboarding team members, like ability to speak languages is something we're placing a lot of emphasis on. So with all the diseases, all our services, we're gonna have components where we translate to all the major local languages. So we've started doing it with some of our videos. So every message that comes from IGH, there'll be the same message in Mandinka, in Wolof, in Fula. And we'll target the uh, regions as well too. So let's say if we're offering like a screening day in Basse and the population has more Fula, we'll make sure most of the conversations are not happening in English, but are happening in Wolof as well too. Because I think that will make patients more comfortable as well too. So it's gonna be very heavy on health literacy and how we translate it to make sure everybody understands. So what's your number? Um, as a company, it was important for us to start by proclaiming what our social, corporate social responsibility is, right? So what's your number is designed to be a health awareness campaign. When you talk about diabetes, when you talk about high blood pressure, for example, you could use numbers to assess how healthy you are. So you could have your number for your blood pressure, you could have your number for your blood sugar. So what's your number is about creating an awareness now where every Gambian has access to know what their blood pressure is. So we decided as a company that for the first year we want to test 20,000 Gambians and screen them for high blood pressure and diabetes at no cost 
as our gift back to the nation, but also our way to collaborate with the health ministries and local stakeholders. So what's your number eventually once everybody, if I ask you what your number is, you should be able to tell me, hey, my blood pressure, the last time I checked it was 120 over 80, which is normal. So that's what what's your number is all about. So we want to revolutionize the healthcare system in Africa. And we want to do that by leveling the playing field of access. We truly believe that just because you live in Africa doesn't mean you don't have access to quality healthcare solutions, right? And we want to specifically target non-communicable diseases because I feel like with diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, that's one of the best ways to have our loved ones live longer. So people's grandmothers, people's moms, because I think it's important for us. So if we could just start changing, and from a pharmacy standpoint too, we want to bring a different way of doing pharmacy where now it's more clinical oriented and not transactional. Uh, but definitely we want to be at least start planting seeds for a new way of doing things that leads to eventually healthier Gambians, Gambians who live longer, and Gambians who don't have to travel outside of Gambia to get quality service at the end of the day. The project to me is personal because I deeply believe that it's high time that we have services that are for Gambians, by Gambians, for Africans, by Africans. We have a lot of loved ones that are not living as long. So with starting to bring services of quality of health that we could give people that we love the quality that they service, that's why this project is so special to me. Because um, I really think that it could be the beginning of something special, but also motivate anybody who does not have to be in the healthcare field. If you're an expert at anything in the West, there's opportunity for you to replicate it in Africa so that the people that look like you could benefit from it. So it's bigger than healthcare to us, um, so, but it's definitely something that I'm excited to see what it could do in terms of just helping the little that we can to move our nation forward.